Guys, how's it going? Welcome to another IBMI Geek video. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to focus on, uh, hopefully it's going to be a very, very quick video. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I have, I have lots of other videos coming. Uh, today I'm just going to focus on a very simple task and it's how to reset a user's password on an IBM i i series AS400 system. So uh, basically, just before we kick into the command, um, you need it, you need the correct authority to reset a password or change a user account on an IBM i. Um, those at the moment I'm logged in as Qsec Alpha, which is the root administrator account of the system, so I have all the authority I need. In specifically, you need authority to the user profile object or the user account that you want to reset, and you also need a security administrator access. So QSEC ADM is the security administrator access. I'll, I'll, I'm doing another video shortly which will explain this, that level of access. We're, we're gonna, gonna get into some security videos and hopefully I can explain uh, the different levels of access on an IBM I. But at the moment I'm, I'm logged in as root so I have both of those authorities. I have all object authority which gives me access to the user profile object and I have uh, Q security administrator or security administrator authority on the account. <coughs> okay, so let's get cracking. Um, the command that we use to, to change a user profile is chg, one second, chg usr prf, so change user profile. Uh, as I've said in other videos, always prompt your commands on the command line. Uh, press F4 to prompt a command, and that gives you the additional parameters for a command. In this case, I don't have many user accounts in this system at the moment, so I'm just going to reset the QSEC alpha password um, and hit return. Now, these, these top three fields are the fields that we are uh, we're concerned with, just to reset a password. There's all these other fields I will go through at some stage when we're creating a user account. I will, I will drill down into these various other options and explain what they are. That will be a long video. I'm trying to keep this video short. So at the moment, just to reset a password, we're going to focus on these three fields here. So the first field is user password. So in this field, I can specify a new password for the user. So let me just see. I will specify IBM iGeek. Oops. Geek. So I'm specifying a new password for the user. Uh, the next field here is set password to expired. Um, basically, this option is if if you don't set the password to expire, this password will stick until the system forces a password change. Um, so setting a password to expire means that once the user logs on, this will be the password until the, for the system forces a, a password change. I'll explain how to set the system up to force a password change in, in coming videos. At the moment, it's it's, uh, it's probably set to 60 or 90 days. Every 60 or 90 days, the system forces the user to reset their passwords. But if we set a password on the user account and set it not to expire, that means the user, this password will stick until the system forces, forces the change in 60 or 90 days. Um, so what you generally want to do here is set this password to expire. So we say yes. So what will happen then is we give our user this temporary password. The user logs on with this temporary password and then they will be forced to reset that temporary password to another password, which is very good practice. Um, basically the user log on and say your password has expired, please change your password. And they'll be forced to reset their password on the spot. Now, the other thing you need to know is this one. This one here is giving us the status of the user profile. So it's saying, at the moment it's enabled. So this account is enabled. Generally, when users enter the wrong password uh, three times or five times, whatever you have your system set up to do, uh, generally you, you can set the system up to say, okay, uh, this is basically a prevention against brute, brute force attacking. So you can set the system up to say, okay, give the user three attempts at entering the correct password. If the password is, in, is entered incorrectly three times, then disable their account. So once the account is set to disabled, the user won't, won't be able to log in. They'll, 
their account will be disabled regardless of whether or not you set the password. If, if the account is disabled, it's disabled. You can't do anything with that account. So when you change user profile, in most cases, you'll see that the, users, the user account is disabled because the user has tried to possibly to enter uh, an incorrect password. They've forgotten their password. They've tried to enter an incorrect password five times, three times. Uh, and we've set the system up to disable the user account on incorrect passwords. So we're going to set this to enable, to ensure the account is enabled. So that's basically it. Um, that's basically all you got to do. Change the user password to a temporary password. Set the password to expire so that the user will be forced to change the password on next logon and set the account to be enabled so that the account is enabled for use. And that's basically it in a nutshell, hit return. And then you'll get a nice little message to say that the user profile has been changed and the password has been reset. And that's basically it for, for this, this video. Um, there's nothing more to it than that. Uh, if you have any comments, please drop them over to me. If you'd like me to do any specific videos on IBM i, iSeries AS400, please give me a shout. And thanks for watching.